Bonjour, friends, and I'm back again. Now, it's actually fantastic. <laughs> I say fantastic in an ironic way, because the um, Ultimate mod has changed things. Like, um, in vanilla, the game would crash every hour, hour and a half. Now it crashes every 30 to 34 minutes, and that's great for me. It means I don't even need to break up the episode, so that's, that's brilliant. <laughs> Happy with that one. So, uh, yeah, we'll get right back into it. Okay, so we did end the turn, so we should hopefully have our orders saved. Yes, we do. Okay, that's nice. That's very, very nice. I just need more men. No other way to say I need more men. I can't control the Germans. I can't use the game to issue any commands. So, yeah. I am still trying to organize a play by email game, actually. I was hoping just trying to get a few YouTubers in that so you guys could see the turns from different perspectives and, like, hear their thoughts and etc. But I'll have to see how that goes, to be honest. I mean, if not, then I would be happy to play with you guys as well. I mean, don't take it as if I'm only going for people who have YouTube channels and crap like that. I only go for that sort of thing because I would like you guys to be able to see the strategy and then for you to be able to uh, basically go to different people's channels and see their way of thinking, what their thoughts were, and how it played out in the end. And I think that'd make for some really good entertainment, to be honest. Almost like living history, isn't it? I mean, like, you always read something, and you want to be able to hear the um, war from both sides, the ideas of the generals, their tactics, why it went wrong, the responses, that sort of thing. And, uh, bloody hell, I'm, I'm still looking forward to trying to play War of Na well, Wars of Napoleon. I do note that um, there has been a video released by Ijord on the game itself, and uh, <laughs> I really want to play. I love the look of that game. The diplomacy is going to be amazing. And isn't it Thanksgiving today or something like that? Today being the 26th of November? I'm British, or I, well, I'm English. English first, then British. So uh, I'm going to have to Google that. When is... Ah, uh, Thanksgiving. Wow, I like I type when it says Thanksgiving. It is the second Monday in October. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Ah, right, I'm reading the Canadian one. Right, Thanksgiving Day. It says a Canadian Thanksgiving? I did not know that. So the American one is the fourth Thursday in November and the Canadian one is the second Monday in October. That's interesting. Well, the Germans seem to be doing reasonably well with the Russians in East Prussia. That for ah oh, shit, there's Rizalov. Damn it! Just as I move that second army away. Okay. Right, there we go. So we have taken control of this line, which is great. And we do have our army here, which is fantastic, actually. This is our army with the heavy artillery as well. Now they have two units in here. I would most like... Oh, I did... What? Where's that supply from? Uh... Oh, good, we have our new generals. Fantastic. Oh, we captured some supply. Ah, sweet. God damn this heavy tra traffic. Yes, traffic. I swear to God, like, after a certain point in the day, from just, like, being at the office, I, like, lose the ability to speak English. Right, what do we have? Uh, Eugene von Osterreich. Wasn't this... the, uh... I can't remember. I can't remember what I was going to say, but he's important. I can't remember why he's important at the moment. Hmm. He's not bad, though. 523, not bad at all. An expert forager. Ah. 50% chance that a unit pillages a region. Right. Well, that's pretty interesting, actually. 
So we'd be able to take... Oh, we'd have a better chance to be able to stay in the region before it became pillaged and just completely out of supplies. That's good. He's a school of defense, so he would be fantastic in Rafinha, actually. Able strategist. He's really good, actually. A 422. He is a Alpine Jaeger. And he's an Austrian Romanian. Fast mover and infiltration tactician. He would be decent for cavalry, actually. Hmm. And then these guys do not have any uh, modifiers or traits, I suppose you could say. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I need those guys to move. You will be ready fairly soon. Okay, ah. Uh. I want this to get out of there, actually, so I'm going to move this over here. I don't believe they can cross anyway. Now, do I want to wait for my second army? I should really, but I think what I might do is um, go for a conservative attack and see how we fare against the defences at Warsaw. If I can try and drive these forces out before more reinforcements arrive, that would be fantastic. Right, we have this second army advancing over here. Do I want that? With, uh, Brusilov. Well, apparently it does not have an army, but I don't trust that. Okay, so we have some forces here, so I'm gonna put, uh, the... Liborius Ritter von Frank. In there. Okay, so the Russians are backed off so I can retake my towns. Okay, that's good. Budapest. A size 11 city. Good city, actually. So I think most of our leaders could actually go over here. I am going to keep uh, Eugene von Ostreich. I think I may have him replace uh, the commander of this army. So I'll have him sent over here. Let's take a look. He's a hard to catch commander, but there's nothing else really about him that makes him suited for defending, so I think I will replace him. And uh, that should give us an advantage there. Now, do I want to keep this army going in this direction? I... I'm a man of the moment. And the moment is... The Russians are coming, yes, but not in any significant strength. While the Russians over here are weak, and I need to take advantage of that moment. Now, what could I possibly strike for? If I send this army over to Warsaw, will it be useless? It would definitely be helpful, but would it be useless overall? Or should I instead aim for Breslitovsk, which is an important rail hub? This is fairly important, actually. That would be the most important rail hub over there. Well, that one, Breslitovsk. And, uh, Pinsk, really. So it's one of them. So I would like to head for there. It's a size 2, uh, fortress. Though it would give me a nice point to move from. So I think we're gonna actually send this army. Oh, well, shit. No. I might as well send them up this way, then. And then we're gonna try and strike deeper into Russian territory and, uh... If I can keep pushing to Russian territory, they will have to pull back from Galatia and Rafinha, they will have to pu uh, pull back from uh, East Prussia. We'll keep the pressure off of Germany and we'll keep the pressure on Russia. Need to make the best use of our men. We have this army over here, that should be more than sufficient. We have another two corps over here. Um, where do these want to be sent? They want to be sent somewhere. Okay. You will cross, you will go over here, you will support the attack. Okay, you have combined with our forces, fantastic. Yeah, uh, we do have lots of support units that we could do with spreading out, actually. Um... Hmm... What can you command? Interesting, you're a mountaineer as well. Ah! That's a mountain call. Interesting. 
Well, actually, I think what I'll do then is I'll send this mountain core to link up with this army, and then that would increase the speed of... No, actually, no. I have a better idea. This force would definitely benefit from the inclusion of a mountaineer in core of infantry. The other one can be sent over here, actually, to combine. So I guess we don't particularly need them right now. But the addition of the mountaineering core will speed up our efforts. So instead, I think I'll have this uh, transport head over here and enter Ivangorod. And then we can have it link up with our army moving there. Okay. The fleets. Combine that shit. Okay. I'm going to patrol my waters. Just stay on that. Just go for anything, a faint probe if you have to attack. I just want to find out what's out there. Sarajevo is garrison, fantastic. Right, we have forces over here. Far too many forces, really. But I suppose they do have some strength, so... We'll see, we'll see. I do have some war supply, but I'm going to save that for October. Well, actually, no, I could do with two commanders in the south. So, uh, we'll send these commanders down here to uh, take command of these corps. So that'd be good for us. Right, we are sending that corps over there, so that's good for us. Okay. Let's see how things go. Hopefully the attack on Warsaw will produce the results I desire. Namely, expelling the Russian forces from Warsaw. It's a very important city, so taking it would be great. Going to be interested to see how the Russians respond to this. Okay. Let's just hope this goes well then. And I think striving to take Breslitovsk is probably the better idea. We need to strike deep into Russia before the winter hits. And if I can take important cities before the winter, then that will leave me in a great position. Well, position, not position. My English. Ah. Okay, those bombardments. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? What the hell? <laughs> Are the French just waiting? Oh my god, I had no idea. I suppose that's why that balloon was there. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. I hope that did not lose me too much morale. Good thing I put them on, like, probing attack. God damn it! Ah. Okay, there's Brizolov. Uh, and this is the battle of uh, this province. Oh. Hmm. He's a shit leader. We should outnumber them. I'm going to go for a balanced plan just because I... He doesn't have any offensive plans. 
Yeah, and there we go. So we saw the amount of men there. So there's roughly 90 odd thousand in Warsaw. Uh, with two armies, I could perhaps beat that. I may require the third army that's advanced on Brest to Vosk with the uh, new knowledge of Warsaw's defenses. Hmm. Ah, finally. Ah, good, you do have some plans. Mass fire. Good. Okay. Uh, I don't have much confidence in the Germans. Well, I mean, they're going for it. They're going deep, but they're going deep in the wrong direction. Sweet. Good. I like easy battles. I mean, they are pushing hard on those French forts, so... I don't know, it's just very, very bold. I'm concerned about their flank. So basically, it's all the more important that we push that bloody French fleet. I do hope I didn't lose too much to that fleet engagement. Hmm. I'm gonna end up losing loads of ships, aren't I? I can't believe they were outside my port, though. I have no idea they were there. This AI is brutal on hardest difficulty. Ah, uh, oh yeah, I lost, yeah, I lost morale. Ah, 89? I, <laughs> yes, the AI's on hardest difficulty, but come on! 89? I outnumbered them! God damn it! I'm losing too many ships. Ah, fuck. Oh, good, finally the Germans will actually decide to um, enter the area. How are you taking so long? Get your ass in gear, man. God damn it. Fine, don't travel by rail, but travel the way I tell you to. Okay. Is it because they're receiving additional men and it's like kind of messing with them? Uh, these are the leaders, yep, they're heading over there. Fantastic. Uh, these men are not yet ready. These men will be ready in 26 days. My god, that's taken so long. Okay, so we did score some victories over there then, so that was decent. Right then, this force. Um. Okay, but force will take up possession of uh, Lublin. Right. Well, these um, cavalrymen are needed elsewhere. So, in fact, if I bring these guys over to Invalgrod, these guys can stay here and hold Lublin. Uh, this army. Um, right, so there's four regulars there, so there's quite a number of men, but well, they should fall once we have another army here. So I think what I may do is go for a faint attack over here and try and draw these forces out. If I can draw them out and make them use more and more of their ammunition or lower their cohesion, it will make battle a hell of a lot easier. Right, okay, so we're going to go once again on the offensive, we'll go on conservative attack, try and draw them from both fronts and into battle, which I can hopefully win. How are we doing on the war production? Uh, right, we're down to 13 reserves. I could do with building more reserves, actually. Uh, we've lost some men, apparently, over here. The commanders are on their way. Fantastic. Right, we're in early October. Interesting. Fart guns have unleashed a heavy bombardment over there. Wait, oh. Uh, 
Yes, Fort Guns have released the uh, heavy bombardment on enemy naval vessels in the Eye of Austria. That sounds amazing. Right. Anton House has been congratulated for his victory. Conrad von Hotzendorf has been congratulated for his victory. New seniorities. Factories have been added to your regional decision pool. Okay, so let's take a look at this then. Yes, wow. So we have tank factories, plane factories, munition factories, artillery, officer, chemical, submarine factories. That's interesting. Uh, we can unlock Ford guns. So, uh, aircraft. Hmm. Right, we have 120 munitions. Well, more supply. We have a lot of... Um, how much would that cost me? Well, at least we can identify the big cities. Ah, so we could actually build factories over there. So if we did secure it, we'd be able to build more factories. Uh, officer replacements. Well, we're doing good on officers at the moment, but I can't rely on that. As we end up in more combat, our number of officers will go down. So I'll build officer factory over here. How much should that actually cost me? How does it actually... Right. Hmm. Are they basically free, but I just have to have a city large enough? Temporary. Um, I would love gas. I don't think I can use it yet. Unless... I have to have a factory. But I don't have the unit yet, so I can't... Well, it only produces replacements. Wait a minute. Ah! So these basically produce the officer replacements and the other things replacements. So do I have to manually buy the infantry replacements or something? But we'll build munition factories. We'll build one in Graz. Uh, we'll build a artillery factory in Vienna. I'm really not sure how much this is costing us, but I suppose I might as well build one in everywhere if I can afford it. But then again, I would like to cancel that. I, there we go, okay. Uh, we'll save that. And then hopefully we'll be able to build more munitions, artillery factories and um, officers. As they're the things we're going to need. Okay, I need this army to get the fucking move on. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, we're going to need more munitions. Can I recruit new units then? Or more units? Right, so we still have the reserves. Um, no new artillery, that's sudden. Hmm, I may end up needing some of these. Only 60 days. That's, yeah, that's not too bad. 150 days isn't bad either. Hmm. Submarines, 120 days though. Am I being blockaded? I'm not being blockaded yet. That's important to mention. Yet. Okay. Hmm. 40, 60. So we're increasing the support for us in Romania. We just need to keep that going, actually. I do know that that says Romania, not Romania. So that's interesting. Okay. I don't have any trench decisions, so I'm interested to see how that actually works. Unless it's some kind of option over here. Don't see one, so we'll have to see. Okay. So, uh, yes. We'll perform this last attack. Well, this uh, last turn, and then I might bring the session to close. Perhaps. Well, I'm happy that we've captured some supplies from the Russians. That's really helpful, actually. I do need that second army to get a fucking move on. I don't know why they're being delayed so much. Unless it's just the fact of the um, forces combining that's slowing them down. Not entirely sure. Uh, 
Hopefully the game does not crash. Da, da, da. 